Hello. Today I'd like to show you how to prime a hand-stretched canvas. I'm masking off three areas to show different primers next to each other. Priming does a number of things. It helps to make the canvas tighter, protects it from oil, and gives you a bright and even surface to paint on. It's especially important to prime your canvas if using oils, as the oil can be absorbed into the canvas, leaving your painting dull and lacklustre. First, I'm using Winter & Newton Professional Acrylic White Gesso, which is made from a quality acrylic resin and is a highly pigmented primer that could be used as a surface preparation for both acrylics and oil. If I was using an oil primer, I would first need to coat the surface of the canvas with a size, like rabbit skin glue. I'm starting with a stiff, short, bristled brush to apply the gesso. For the first coat, I'm using a circular motion to cover the surface completely. You can thin the first coat with a little water as it's easier to apply and it will help the gesso soak into the first layers of the canvas. I'll let that dry. Now, I'm rubbing some fine sandpaper on the surface to give an even finish to the prime canvas before applying a second coat, brushing smoothly across the surface. When that's dry, the canvas feels even tighter than it did before. Some artists like to keep a natural look to the canvas or linen they're painting on. This is clear gesso, which is a great way of sealing and protecting your surface while keeping the natural look of the material. I'm using the same technique, but this will dry completely clear. You can also try mixing professional acrylic colour with clear gesso to make your own surface preparation colour. This works well with acrylic, but should not be done with oils. It gives a bright base layer to my painting and gives an excellent surface for my next layers of colour. Here are all the areas again. White gesso, clear gesso, and the clear gesso and acrylic color mix. I hope you've enjoyed learning about priming a canvas.